we're a contributing member of society, it's Tom Greenberg here. I bought this stupid clean 89 Mercury with 35,000 original miles, and in this video, I'm gonna turn it into the ultimate pimp cruiser for as cheap as possible. And then after that, I'm gonna go home, curl up into a ball, and sob to myself quietly as I watch Smokey and the Bandit featuring Burt Reynolds for the eighth time this week. It's only Monday, by the way. Because as hard as I try, and as much as I pray, I can't grow a fucking mustache. Is that too personal? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> God, those perk thirties really do take the pain away. God, I miss her. This was our wedding song. mix drugs and alcohol unless they're free. <laughs> <laughs> My 1989 Mercury Grand Marquis is a stupid clean, rust-free time capsule that I found on Facebook Marketplace for under five grand. It's powered by a monstrous five liter V8, which is in essence just a detuned Fox body five liter. Oh. And it makes 150 horsepower and 270 pound feet of torque. I'm moving away from you, shut the hell up. All that power runs through a four-speed AOD automatic. That stands for all out. Come in, let me show you my house. This car is oh so plush and clean because it's basically brand new. If you watched my last video, you know the Mercury successfully completed Hot Rod Power Tour without skipping a beat. I literally didn't do anything to this car and it drove 2,400 miles, loaded with tools and extra parts, and it didn't complain once. So it's time to give it some much needed attention. Here's I've made it into the shop. Jack the car up and make it really loud and then slam it. Perfect. This thing is incredibly clean. It's as if it only has 35,000 miles. Because this is a luxury car from 1989, it has four catalytic converters and these obnoxiously regularly sized mufflers. some pretty good weight reduction off this. Bye bye. I won't miss you. Now let's start it up open manifolds. I have purchased a catless H-pipe off of a Fox Body Mustang. In theory it'll work because it's just a five liter. Let's see if the Fox Body H-pipe 
it's up. Oh, it's gonna work, it's man. Like, pretty much there, even though it's not on at all. It's pretty much on. We got the old H pipe on the car. Last time I made a pimp car, I routed the exhaust wrong, then lowered it, and I had to redo it. So right now, I'm gonna stop right here with the exhaust. I'm gonna slam this thing on its nuts. Fun fact, on just about any car that has rear coil springs, if you undo the top of the shock and the rear, the rear end will fall down enough to pull the rear springs out. Just comes down nice and easy like and that spring is just gonna be oh so loose. Oh, uh, it's not loose yet. I gotta pry it out and still hit myself in the eye. But it shouldn't be as hard. Hey, you guys wanna see me do something dangerous? Oh, that's... I recommend you do this as a family. Actually, let your eight-year-old do this. They'll love it. I'm scared right now. <laughs> Try not to break my teeth. Ow. Attempt to. Do you fear death? Because I do right now. I don't think of myself as a God-fearer man until I start pulling coil springs out of a grand marquee. I'll tell you that right now. Come on, hit me. <laughs> Stand back. Whoa. She gonna fly. Where way am I going? You ready? Easy peasy. These are the stock rear coil springs, and these are some random lowering springs that we had laying around out of a Fox body. So I'm probably gonna end up cutting them, but I'm gonna put them in like they are right now, just to see how it sits. That's not right, but it'll work. They are already not touching. But keep in mind, this car needs to be on the ground. Just for shits and giggles, we'll put it down like this. Not bad. That looks about how it did when it was loaded down with tools. On the front end of this car, I'm not gonna cut the springs. I'm not even gonna replace them. I'm just gonna torch them so it's low, because I'm lazy. I like the way the rear's sitting. I want it lower, but I'm gonna see if I can torch the front springs lower than the rears. If so, I'll cut a coil off of that. Now, if you are unfamiliar with torching springs, you must know it is the complete wrong way of lowering a car. Genuinely, shouldn't do it, but I do it all the time, because it's easy and effective. So pretty much, all you do is heat up the coil spring until the coil gets red hot and does this. You do that to enough coils, the car lowers itself. Like I said, this destroys the coil spring, and you shouldn't do it. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Alright, partner. Now let's rock and roll. Oh, that looks sick. Oh my god, that looks good. <laughs> this is the difference. I torched every accessible coil, four coils in total, and this is the high I could get. This is the stock height, about four and a half fingers. Ten minutes of me laying on the floor with minimal effort, and I get that kind of turnout. Shit, dude. Look at this thing. Not bad. I'm feeling frisky. So I'm gonna cut a full coil off these rear springs and hope it doesn't lower it too much. Let's put them in. That's pretty cool. <laughs> One coil wasn't quite enough. I think I'm gonna go with a half coil to start. Or should I just go balls to the wall and say screw it? Full one. Full coil, okay, that's all I need to hear. Yo. Yo. Not hit the lift. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's dead close, but half a coil is really gonna get it. This thing? Look, friends have arrived, by the way. But you but my coils! <laughs> Those were nice coils, I was gonna use them! Why would he destroy my coils like that? That is quite warm. Maker right there. Lift is stuck. That means we are at the perfect height. Oh my god, dude. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Exhaust with Tom. First, let's cut these flanges off of the pipes. I have decided on the classic Flowmaster Super 10s. Well, these mufflers need to be about yonder. And hopefully, I have enough pipe to make that happen. I ran out of brand new stainless steel eBay piping, so this Y pipe I found behind the garage is gonna work. I'm gonna use the stock tailpipes because I don't have enough pipe to make much of them. 
I'm currently making perfectly symmetrical tailpipe hangers so I don't have to worry about fitting up the tailpipes. I'm using this, I think, shelving metal. I don't really know what it is, but it's thick enough that it'll hold the tailpipes evenly. Our tailpipes are now on. They're pretty much perfectly symmetrical and sturdy. So now we just gotta connect the H pipe to the Flowmasters to the tailpipes. Fast forward, we got some straight pipes, we got some Flowmaster Super Tents, and we got some pipes that connect to the tailpipes. I just gotta weld it all up now and we can listen to it. Oh, man, blonde, you like it? Oh, God. You're so pretty. Well, this is sturdy. You won't never see a Tom's refurb exhaust that ain't sturdy. I didn't have any normal exhaust tips that will fit behind those hangers, so I found this single end dual out tip that I'm cutting the dual tips off. I'm gonna make them work. After about seven hours of hard work, the car is stanced and it has a killer dual exhaust. Oh, those tips look good. Shut a fireball. On a hard night's work. I can't take this out and beat on it right now because it's 1.33 a.m. The next day. has a nice little growl. Sounds good, I'll say it. But it doesn't have the right sound. This car needs a little more black. I'll tell you more about that when I get back to the shop. Let's play with the exhaust again. As I just said, this car is not loud enough. It's just lacking that certain blap that makes cars just sound great. Now what is blap, you might say, behind your silly little computer screen and your <laughs> your your silly little house with your silly wife and your silly little fucking kids that should I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna drag that out. I'm just gonna drag that out real dark. I was gonna take that real far. So what is blap? Blap is that joyous kind of explosive sound that your exhaust system makes. It's at a certain RPM, not all the time, that just makes every car guy smile when it happens. Now blap is different than clap. Clap is that sound that squatted trucks make when they have full straight pipes with no cats and six inch Ugh. exhaust tips. That kind of sound is just loud and clapping all the time with no tone, just noise. It sounds like <laughs> pretty much. Where I messed up is these mufflers. The Flowmaster Super 10 is a fantastic muffler. I use them all the time on a range of vehicles. The problem with this is that Flowmasters are known for a sort of echoey chambered sound. It doesn't allow for much blah 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 at certain RPM. It's more whoa. You know what I mean. After really scientifically calculating it and thinking about it very much, I have <laughs> I've decided that this car with its factory manifolds, two and a half inch H pipe, and two inch tailpipes will sound a lot better with a straight through glass pack designed muffler. So that is exactly what I bought. <laughs> Some of these average sized glass pack mufflers. In all seriousness, these were the absolute smallest glass packs I could find on the market. I did that because this motor is so weak and it moves so little air. These will sound perfect on this car. I'm gonna weld these in instead of the Flowmasters and we'll see what kind of difference it is. Dong, 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 dong. Bada bing, bada boom. First start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, maybe 
my scientific measurements were a little off because it's a lot more clap than blap, but it still suits the car. It's a hot rod. Now that the exhaust is sounding right, it's time for some more cosmetic things, aka knickknacks that I wasted money on. So you may have seen those 50s cars that have the curb feelers bolted to the fender lips, and I was sitting on the toilet the other day. <laughs> Not a joke. And I was thinking, you know, the Merc could use some curb feelers. So I impulse bought some. All right. <laughs> I don't hate them though, they're kind of funny. They're very silly. And to be honest, I have no idea if I even like them or not. I like them, I will leave them for now. The stock headlights work really well, and to be honest, like the curb feelers, I might keep them in. But I bought the LEDs just in case they look cool. <laughs> I have chosen to install them. This orange is the only orange on the entire car, so I'm just gonna tint the orange part of this black so you don't really notice it as much. And then I'll also wire in the halos and then we'll see how it looks. And reassemble. Last step, front license plate. I jokingly put this grandma license plate that kind of came from that Volvo video. Now that the car is getting pimp, I found this. Kind of swag. It's not from Nevada, but she is too new. We're not quite done yet, but we're done for the night. This thing sounds so cool. Whoa, spooky, time travel, movie magic. Whoa, it's been a couple days and some minor things have changed on the Grand Marquis. First things first, that black tint was really ugly, so I replaced it with chrome. Safety nerds, yes, you could still see the turn signals. Don't bitch at me. Go f yourself. Second thing I did was take the car to an alignment shop, which was completely unsuccessful because it was so low, it wouldn't fit on the alignment rack. So now it has some sick Stance Boy camber that I don't really care about. Lastly, I took the car to a buddy and had it buffed, polished, and 5% tinted, so the Grand Marquis is looking better than ever. Now why don't we go out and hear that brand new exhaust, huh? One more thing to do. Let's go play with the wheels. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love these Kragers and I think they fit the car perfectly, but it's a pimp car and I want to put some pimp wheels on it just to see how they fit. Don't look at me. I am not stacking spacers on the front of this car. I am not doing it. Got a set of 19 inch niche wheels. There's definitely not spacers on this. NASCAR. You know. I'm waiting. All of our work here is done. How's it look? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We put a slightly meatier tire on the back and it really paid off. Uh-huh. That looks awesome. Damn! Suddenly the pain's brought on by the tragic loss of my beloved.
beloved wife are gone. Oh, this shit's tight as hell. Life alert. Any hot milfs looking for a good time? I got a pension I ain't cashed yet. Any hot milfs looking for a good... One more. 